Coal has always been an important resource of Pennsylvania, and over the years there have been many railroads to move it. Today, the Reading and Northern is one line taking it from the mines to interchange with Norfolk Southern. Does this route come to life in trains with the Z? Load it up at the rail yard. The Reading and Northern Railroad is a Class 3 short line operating in eastern Pennsylvania. Their primary traffic is coal, although they do service a number of local industries. These tracks originally belonged to various different railroads, including the Reading Railroad, the Central New Jersey, the Lehigh Valley, and the Lehigh New England Railroad. This route, created by Josh Drum, includes approximately 40 miles of the main line from Jim Thorpe to Port Clinton, along with the line to Shenandoah Junction and the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway from Jim Thorpe to Old Penn Haven. Right off the bat, you notice the huge amount of scenery. Trees and bushes line the entire right of way, and the small towns are full of streets and buildings which you can explore. There's even people hanging clothes up or relaxing on their porches. Downloading this route isn't hard, and thanks to community forum posts, I found all but one of the QID files. The route itself only uses a small amount of disk space, though the dependencies make the total size add up to around 500 megabytes. Performance-wise, the route runs at about the same frame rate as the default Mojave route, so it's fairly smooth overall. Jointed Rail has provided a freeware locomotive pack which includes an SD50, an SD40-2, and an SW1500. The sounds are good and include features like opening doors and automatic numbering. They've also created a rolling stock pack with hoppers and gondolas using very realistic sounds. This route definitely feels like my home state, but there's more to it than just that. Not all of the old lines have survived, and Josh has included markers and old rail beds to show how important railroading was to this region. The only things which hold this route back are limitations with the trains with the Z. Anytime you move the free roam camera around, you're forced to look at this glowy compass. You can't change the season of the route. The sounds only play through the left or right audio channel, meaning they don't sound realistic. And worst of all, distant scenery has a tendency to pop in and out like you see here. I see great potential with this simulator. The trees swaying in the wind are very nice, the terrain textures look phenomenal, and industries can be programmed to load and unload cars. The challenge is that its issues get in the way of the wonderful experience offered by this line.
This is a railroad built to the best quality possible in this sim, understanding both the region and its history. The track work is seamless, and the amount of detail rivals the best of routes from other simulators. I give the Reading and Northern my seal of approval with a final score of 100% and a platinum certification. They've also created a rolling stock pack with, with, with blah, blah, blah.